Hello everybody, All Night Gamer Guy here. I'm back to play more Yu-Gi-Oh. Now, I feel like we're gonna take apart this deck and just make it a lot smaller. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take out some gonna take out a magic card. And uh well these dogs have been useful. But, um, I'm just going to take him out. One shot of greed gone. Uh, Wonder Wand's good. Uh, do I even, well, I only have the cat. I'm gonna take him out. I'll keep the fusion monster here in my deck for now. I'll take out crush card. Uh, fire ferret was good, but I'll take I'll take out fire ferret. Let's see. Well, these tuna monsters are good, but I need I would like to have my so I would like to have a zombie tuna monster. All right, well, I guess that's it for now. Let's see here. All right, well, I think I better try my luck with him. The Battle City Tournament. Yeah. How, how convenient, because this Duelist Seeker only uses Exodia cards, has the Exodia deck. I would have no doubt in my lo out that he's probably gonna win in the first round. Like, just have no doubts at all. Okay, let's uh, get this over with. I'm gonna lay down three cards face down. I'm gonna place this monster face down. And that's all. If I get lucky, maybe I'll finish him off quickly. I activate Spirit Barrier. Okay, interesting. I'll just summon my Swamp King. Uh, no. If he's already got the three pieces of Exodia in his deck, we'll see what he draws. Okay, maybe we're in luck. A rotting captain. I think I'll summon my I'm an Orgoth the Relentless on this one. And I'll think I'll wait. I'll activate his special ability. Now let's see here. One or two can't be destroyed in battle. Three or four draw two cards. Uh, nope. Okay. 
Well, unfortunately, I can't attack. But once per turn, I could activate his ability. Okay. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. Activate Call of the Haunted and bring back my Orgoth the Relentless. <laughs> if it wasn't for the sword to revealing light, I could attack. I'll activate his ability. Three or four? Okay, four. Three. Four! Oh, I get. Oh! Yes! Twin Barrel Dragon, I summon you. Now I activate his ability and take out. The Okay. Oh! He's in trouble. He's totally in trouble. Oh. Now, Twin Barrel Dragon, attack the right leg of Exodia. Now, Orgoth the Relentless, attack him directly. He doesn't... He only has two cards in his hand. Even if he... Oh. He had right Geki? Hmm. I'll activate the Orgoth the Relentless ability again. A five, a five, a one. Orgoth the Relentless attack. We won for the first time. I thought Exodia would be summoned right away. Okay, well, that, uh... That was definitely something. Uh, let's see now. Speaking of Exodia, let's see if we can't get another piece. Well, we got the Millennium Shield. I didn't... I don't care for this picture... I have a Millennium Shield in real life, and yeah, I don't care for that picture of him. I don't care for the picture of the Millennium Shield there. I did not care for that. I do have a Millennium Shield that has a way better picture. Come on, where's the Crystal Beast at? Ooh, what's this? Trivia 2... Oh, trivia of a fire time. I don't care. Mm. Alright, so we are going to go to GX. And we are going to go up against Chumley. And for once, I'll just go first. Nice. And I'll place Ace One Monster face down defense mode. And that's all I'll do. Summoning the Master of Oz already. That's it, yes. Hmm. 
<laughs> not bad, Chumley. Not bad at all. Place one card face down. In Earth Rock Sunrise. Mirror Force. Still destroys the other monsters. Now I summon a rotting captain. And I activate his ability to summon up another four star monster. Emissary of the afterlife. That now the might a war magical warrior and emissary of the afterlife will attack directly i would have summoned blackwing but if he's special summoned he can't be used as a synchro material infernal fire blast it's a shame i can't use it Now, Emissar, now, Marauding Captain will attack. I do. That's my kitty. Even if he regains his life points, it doesn't matter. Hoo hoo. Why not? I sacrifice Marauding Captain in order to summon Meteor Dragon Red Eyes as impact. Attack directly. Hello, that's my kitty. Emissary of the afterlife attack. Now my meteor dragon will attack, ending the duel. And we got Jaden's booster deck. Very nice. Let's see how much time we have. Six minutes. So let's just open up a pack quick. Nice, we got one of the Sacred Beast cards. Already. Very nice cards. Very nice. Mm -hmm. 
You know what? Let's try Haman out. I believe he's a level 10 monster, so... Wait, I had two of them? Huh. I wonder how I missed that. And I also have... Oh. Oh, hoo, hoo. You know what? Hmm. I do have plenty of trap cards. Plenty of monsters. Let's try both of them out. I don't know how well this is going to work, but hey, why not? It'll be Jaden versus Zane. I've never had one of the Sacred Beast cards in my deck before. I don't think so. Except for Lord of Striking Thunder. Let's see. I think I'll just place one card face down. And that's it for now. I activate Magicka Cylinder. Ho ho ho. But I think I better wait. I summon Twin Barrel Dragon. And I'll destroy his face down. And unfortunately, I can't. Oh, well, I can just always attack. I already have the Egyptian God cards in my deck anyway. Or at least one. I bet you anything that's power bond. I summon Marauding Captain. And I activate his special ability by summoning Swordsman of Landstorm. And now I summon my dragon. My red eyes. His zombie necro dragon by tuning together my twin barrel dragon and my swordsman. Marauding captain will attack, and my zombie will dragon will attack as well. If this works, I get to I'll summon the Egyptian god card. Cyber Dragon. Hmm. Activate Red Eyes Fusion. I'll fuse together my Red Eyes Black Dragon and Meteor Comet Dragon. start destroying I 
Are you gonna activate power bond or what? Activated his special ability. Now I can bring back one of the fusion material monsters. Red eyed black dragon. <sighs> you know, I think I'll just sacrifice red eyes. To bring out my zombie lord. Attack. And attack. Dragon will attack and ending this duel. It's a shame I wasn't able to summon. It was a shame I wasn't able to summon the Egyptian God card, but. Oh well, maybe next time. But until then, I hope you all enjoy uh, this video. I'm gonna get some experience points off camera, but I'm not gonna. I'm not going to continue without making a video. I'm just going to do the previous duelist. Previous duelist I've already done. So I can just get experience points and packs. And just make a deck. And then next time... And then next time I make a video of Yu-Gi-Oh! I'll show you what deck I built. And just... Maybe I'll use it. Maybe I won't. I don't know. By the way though, thank you so much for watching. Watching. I hope you all enjoy, and as always, I will see you in the next video. All Night Gamer Guy, out.